Thank you very much. Um, I'm very, uh, first of all, I, I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to speak with you today. Before I start, I would like to thank JSPS and the City University of New York for inviting us to speak. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the outline uh, of public health research in Japan and my recent research on maternal and children's health. Uh, let me begin by briefly um, introducing myself. Um, thank you for uh, introducing me. Uh, I'm Satomi Osada from Kyoto University. After obtaining my PhD in the field of public health, um, I worked for several years as a researcher, senior researcher uh, for National Institute of Public Health in Japan. Um, my research field is mainly public health. Um, in particular, the, uh, these days, my recent research interests focus on how early life exposures may affect children's subsequent health outcomes. Um, it also includes the effect of maternal lifestyle or prenatal exposure and the development in children. Um, before I introduce my recent research, I would like to look at public health in Japan. Um, as, as a country after World War II, its structure has drastically changed in Japan. Um, before and just after World War II, the main public health problems were infection disease. And nutrition was also a big problem for that era because of food shortages. After this period uh, with economic development, um, non-communicable uh, non disease, including cancer and cardiovascular disease, are uh, the main diseases. Also, because of the ec economic recession after the 1990s, the increase um, in mental health problem is pointed out. Um, and this is an extract from the Medical Journal Lancet, which, uh, pub which published a special series entitled Japan uh, Universal Healthcare at 50 Years in 2011. Um, this special issue documented the post-war evolu evolution of healthcare in Japan. This issue also describes what contributed to the population of Japan being healthy, population aging, and well-being. Especially one of the most important points of Japanese healthcare system is universal health insurance and free access to the medical doctors or facilities. Um, as we can see at this figure, almost all population is covered by social health authority. Um, uh, especially one of the most important points of the healthcare system is universal health insurance and free access to medical doctors. Um, as we can see at this figure, figure, almost all population is covered by social health insurance in Japan. Um, so, so social health insurance um, um, consist, mainly consisted of employee-based and community-based social health insurance. However, as Professor Ikegami, he wrote this article, um, Japan is faced with a uh, difficulty to sustain social health insurance because of an um, aging society. The premiums paid by working people have become insufficient to cover the cost of health care for everyone. And this slide uh, presents a summary of the OECD report, Health at a Glance. 2019 about Japan. Compared with other ODCD countries, Japan is characterized as having people 
uh, who lives the longest with the lowest adult obesity within the OECD countries. However, it is reported that smoking rates are highest and generic drug use remains low in Japan. As we can see that uh, self-related health in particular is worse compared to other OECD countries. Uh, in this slide, uh, we show the annual change over the year of birth rate at Higea. After World War II, we have experienced um, baby boom twice, but recently the number of annual births has fallen uh, below one million. For the first time last year, the number of annual births was below 900,000. The background of this change is economic stagna stagnation and job concerns, which cause um, concern over starting, uh, starting a family, it, it, it is suggested. Um, this slide is in, uh, details how, be, um, because of the social background, new types of health problems occur in Japan. Uh, Non-regular employment has increased because of the economic recession in Japan. As a result, it is suggested that work style affects people's health. Uh, social determinants of health is one of the hottest topics in the public health field in Japan. Uh, on the left is a book by Sir Michael Marmot. Uh, he was a professor at the University College of London. Some are much outlying inequality in health and their causes and how people's social standing directly affect their health. Uh, some research groups have been started to study the, job and the health effect from social or economic inequality in Japan. The, um, so the book in the center is written by Professor Kawachi, a group in the School of Public Health at Harvard University and the right of a book published by a group at the uh, University of Tokyo. Um, research group is um, Professor Kawakami and his colleagues. In the next slides, I would like to introduce my recent research. I am inter uh, interested in child and maternal health and their linkage because Mothers and the children of um, 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 most recent um, sorry um, because mothers and the children of sheer heredity and lifestyle, which could uh, reveal some hints or factors for children's disease. I think the most recent paper is the first one in this slide. So, so, so sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, most recent paper in first, first one on this slide, yeah, we examined the association between maternal pre-pregnancy weight, obesity, and early childhood weight gain, weight gain with obesity at 15 years of age. Uh, sample size is not so large, uh, about uh, 1,500 children. At around the follow-up period was about 15 years from maternal pregnancy to uh, adolescent and children in adolescence. The second paper is about the study of the risk of prenatal and early life antibiotics uh, use for and to do food asthma. The period, period uh, during infancy just after birth is especially important for formulating good microbiota which shape host immunity in children. It suggested that the overuse of antibiotics disturbs and affects immune function in children. Our study examined this hypothesis epidemiologically. And in the third study, we examined the negative effect of prenatal alcohol intake by mothers on, on, on development in children. And this slide shows the topic of prenatal exposure. 
Uh, fetal health and early childhood health are important for children's development. Uh, this is Professor David Walker who suggested that lifestyle disease is programmed in infancy. He is especially pointed out the importance of fetal life for lifetime health. However, recently it has been pointed out because hypothesis could be modified. Um, early childhood after birth is also important for adolescent health as a modifier. However, there are few studies regarding all these topics for Asian population and in Japan. Um, especially in Japan, children's health study um, is, is uh, children's health is not well studied. Uh, epidemiological study for middle-aged and elderly people have been done, uh, such as Hisayama study, famous study in Japan, which is similar to Flamingham Heart study in the United States. As a gerontology field, the Japan Gerontological Evaluation Study, so-called JHS, is a hit maker or paper. In the field of pediatrics, the Ministry of Environment studied the JEC study in 2010 to identify the impact of environmental factors on health and the development of children. The age of the study outcome will be 15 years of age, but at this point in time, information for children three years of age only has been obtained. So our idea was to conduct an epidemiological study in children using health checkup data in early childhood. Um, in Japan, pregnant women are followed by the local city or town with about 14 checkups during pregnancy uh, with coupon, free, free checkup. Um, after birth, children have checkups until age three. The health checkup data are stored by the local administration. We contract um, those local administrations and get data and conducted got data and conducted the epidemiological study. I will now uh, introduce the result of Kobe study. Kobe is uh, one of the largest cities in Western Japan, and the number of births is about 10,000 annually. Uh, we contracted Kobe city and obtained health checkup, checkup data. And this data could be linked from checkup of mothers and their children. Uh, for example, prenatal maternal tobacco smoking may affect children's health. Here, smoking rates are shown from COVID study of 56, about 56 and uh, 6,000 pairs of mothers and children. Regarding maternal pre prenatal smoking, we found that about 25% of mothers were past smokers and 7% of mothers were current smokers. And regarding postnatal smoking in the household or second-hand smoking, um, about 45% of children were exposed to smoking. That is, 45% um, of families included at least one smoker who were mothers or fathers or other family members. And Result of our study, uh, in COVID study, that children uh, whose mothers smoke tend to have low birth weights. If mothers smoked during pregnancy, then 12.9% of children were born with low birth weight. But if mothers did not smoke, the percentage of low birth weight children was 8.2%. Also, our data shows uh, smoking mothers tend to drink during pregnancy. And furthermore, if mothers smoke, children tend to have asthma. This figure shows that compared with non-exposed children to smoking, the risk of the incidence of asthma in children exposed to smoking was about 1.6 to 1.7 fold. 
This risk is higher than household smoking during pregnancy or after birth. Thus, in interventions or um, any campaigns for smoking cessation for pregnant women may be essential for preventing asthma development in children in Japan. Uh, this is also from the COVID study. Um, I was um, first also a PhD student was mentor, and he wrote uh, this paper. So this was suggested that maternal smoking may also cause children's health impairment. We published, we published some other papers that examined the association between prenatal exposure and the development in children. And this paper is not conducted by the data of Kobe study, but of, um, from other cities' data. We showed maternal drinking may also cause children's healing or associate uh, children's healing impairment. And the next slide, I will mention our study regarding adolescent health, especially obesity. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I, I forgot to, to, to uh, change slide. Uh, in the next slide, I will mention our study regarding adolescent health, especially obesity. In Japan, as in other developed countries, the percentage of children with obesity has increased. Um, this figure shows a trend over years for the percentage of children with obesity among school children in Japan. Green line shows the percentage with obesity at 17 years of age, and purple line shows that uh, at 11 years of age. Uh, in, 1970, in 1978, the percentage was about 4% to 6%. In recent years, the percentage of child obesity is brought over to about 8% to 2%. Um, many previous studies suggested that obesity in adolescents leads to diabetes and cardiovascular diseases in adulthood, so to prevent early childhood obesity could be important from public health perspective. In pediatric field, to know when the, the obesity starts in children is important for early prevention uh, or intervention. Um, when obesity has started is important question. Um, as previous studies, Kesselik and colleagues in Germany reported that among obese adolescents, the most rapid weight gain had occurred between two and six years of age from a population-based study of about 50,000 children. Furthermore, uh, Basin in Norway reported that BMI in early childhood is associated with overweight obesity at adolescents. And that association is stronger than that in earlier life. I um, mean, that means um, stronger than uh, birth weight or low birth weight. Um, to examine this hypothesis in Japanese population, we linked maternal pregnancy data and early childhood health up data and a school health checkup data. Um, the outcome uh, was obesity at 15 years of age. Uh, this data was long follow-up data. Each children um, had been observed from prenatal period to 15 years of age. This is the result. Um, figure shows the result of our data. The association between early childhood obesity and adolescent obesity. In the left uh, figure, the x-axis shows BMI at 18 months of age, and the y-axis shows BMI at 15 years of age. Uh, we can see that compared with BMI at uh, 18 months, BMI at 3 years of age was associate, associated more with BMI at 15 years of age in children. 
um, because of the slope of BMI at three years of age is steeper than that of um, 18 months of age. This figure was drawn by using the same data. We categorized the data and showed odds ratio for reference group, which contain non-obesity at three years of age. Um, obesity at three years of age includes the risk of obesity at 15 years of age, 2.3 fold in boys and 6.5 fold in girls. The figure shows if children were obese at three years of age, uh, there was a tendency toward obesity at 15 years of age. Uh, similarly, we examined the association between maternal obesity uh, before pregnancy and obesity at 15 years of age in children. Um, this figure shows if mothers was obese, her child at age 15, 15 had a tendency toward obesity. Um, the odds ratio is about 2.2 in boys, um, 2.9 in girls. Yes, uh, that's all my recent research uh, introduction. Um, a summary. Uh, this slide is a summary of recent public health problem in Japan. Um, an aging population with a declining birth rate. Problems resulting from um, health inequality, inequality I introduced. Of course, there are uh, so many, a uh, lot of other topics of uh, public health improvements, such as smoking problems, uh, disaster health, health service research, health promotion, etc. in Japan. And this is um, uh, only in Japanese, but Nihon Koshu Esei is um, about a uh, lot of, um, they contain a lot of public health problem in this journal. Yes, um, last one. Um, as our mission of public health researchers, how can we improve children's health? And this is my um, recent topic uh, with a view of life course epidemiology. And how can we communicate the health risks to citizens? I think, uh, how do we communicate the epidemiological result to the society? And SDG, how so hot our keywords, what's the role, role of public health? I, and last one to 20 this year is Olympic year. Um, Olympic will be taking place in Tokyo, so, <laughs> Uh, we are so happy in place country Japan. Uh, and uh, uh, the other one is um, a local topic, so local one. Um, but annual meeting of Japanese Society of Public Health will be held in Kyoto for the first time in 17 years. Uh, thank you very much. Um, this picture is our uh, lovers, um, a picture of our members. Thank you very much.